Hi, hello, welcome to Home School. This is your class 10 mathematics NCRT or CBSE board. We are in our application problems of chapter 1 arithmetic progression. This is your problem number 8. The sum of the first 7 terms of an arithmetic progression is 140. Stop reading and understand what is the point there. Sum of first 7 terms of an arithmetic progression is 140. What are the first 7 terms? A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6, A7. Sum of all these terms is how much? 140. And that series is in arithmetic progression. So let's write the given data. Solution. Given sum of first 7 terms of an uh, let's write shortcut. Arithmetic progression is 140. So let the 7 terms be a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4 plus a5 plus a6 plus a7 is equal to 140. You may get it out. Why we are not writing s7 is equal to 140? You can write it. Your problem continuation is little different. So we need to write with the terms first. And then now sum of these terms. How do you write? With the sum series. Sum is represented by yes. Series sum of these terms. How many terms? 7 terms. S7 is equal to 140. And S7 apply formula. What is the formula you remember? Sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Okay. Now write this. S7. S7 is equal to 7 by 2 into 2a plus 7 minus 1 into d. I don't know a or d. I know only n value. n value is 7. Is equal to how much? 140. So, S7, you can rewrite it as like this. That is equal to 140. And now, 7 by 2 into 2A. 7 minus 1 will be 6D is equal to 140. Okay. Now, take out anything is common here. 2 is common. 7 by 2 into, take out 2 common. A plus 3D is equal to 140. 2, 2 will be cancelled. And A plus 3D is equal to this multiple 7. Send other side. It will be divided. 7, 20 is so. Therefore, A plus 3D is equal to 20. Mark this first equation. Using only first line of your question, I have done up to here. Okay, a plus 3d is equal to 20, mark it first equation. Next point, and the sum of the next 7 terms. Next 7 terms, how could you write? First 7 terms, a 7 you can write. What about next 7 means? a8, a9, a10, a11, a12, a13, a14. But how can you write with s? It is difficult, right? So, for that, I am going to say you easy method. Sum of next 7 terms. Next 7 terms is equal to 385. That is A8 plus A9 plus A10 plus A11 plus A12 plus A13 plus A14 is equal to 385. 85. So, sum of first 7 and next 7 you have. So, combinedly how you can say this one? I will rewrite it as A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus A4 plus A5 plus A6 plus A7 plus A8, A9, A10, A11. A12, A13, A14. So, look here. Up to here, sum is how much? 
140. And next seven term sum is 385. I can rewrite this as S14. Yes or no? Sum of 14 terms. Sum of 14 terms is how much? First seven terms is 140. And your next seven terms is 385. So add this one. S14 is equal to 525. 525. So now this one you can simplify. Get one equation and these two equations if you solve you are going to get A and D. If you know A and D what you need to find? Find the arithmetic progression. Arithmetic progression means you need to find at least 3 to 4 terms of your AP. A, A plus D, A plus 2D, A plus 3D so on. Okay let's start. Don't be panic. First 7 terms S7 you got one equation. And how to write next 7 terms? It is little confusing, right? So 7 plus 7 will be 14 terms. So write all the 7 terms and next 7 terms. How many terms? 14. So this sum I can rewrite it as S14. S14 is equal to this 7 term sum is 140 and next 7 term sum is 385. Now if you add, you are going to get 525. Simplify this one. Again, we know Sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. n value is how much now? 14. S14 is equal to wherever you have n, you substitute 14. 2a plus 14 minus 1 into d is equal to how much? S14 value was? 525. Now, no need of writing this S14. Already we have simplified this one. 14 by 2, 7. 7 into 2a plus 14 minus 1 will be 13. D is equal to 525. You can take anything common? No. This 7 is a multiple. Send other side. It will be divided. 2a plus 13d is equal to 525 by 7. Cancel. 7 1, 7 7 is 49, 7 5 is 35. Okay. It will be 75. 2a plus 13d is equal to 75. Mark this as second equation. Solve these two equations now. So, what do you have? A plus 3D equal to 20 and 2A plus 3, 13D is equal to 75. You need to solve these two equations. By which method? Any method you can do. I go with elimination method. So, which variable we are going to cancel? Either A or D. Let me cancel A. Means for this equation, you need to make common. You have in that equation 2A and here you have only A. So, multiply equation 1 with 2. Multiply, multiply equation 1 with the 2, that will be 2 into a, 2a plus 2 3s are 6d is equal to 22 is 40. Okay, now mark this as a third equation you can mark. Now solve. Solving equation 2 and equation 3. 2a plus 13d is equal to 75. 2a plus 6d is equal to 40. How do you solve? We are going to subtract this one. Both signs are same. So let us do the subtraction. 2a plus 2a minus 2a will be? Cancel. 13 minus 60 will be 70. That is equal to 75 minus 40. It will be 35. D is equal to 35 by 7. 7 5s are 35. I got D value. Therefore, D is equal to 5. Substitute this D. Substitute. D is equal to 5. 
in equation 1. Any one of the equation you can take. Equation 1. A plus 3D is equal to 20. A plus 3 into D value is 5 is equal to 20. 5 threes are 15 equal to 20. A is equal to 20 minus 15. A is equal to 5. Oh, first term is 5 and also common difference is 5. So, what is your question? Find the arithmetic progression. Therefore, the arithmetic progression is A, A plus D, A plus 2D, A plus 3D, so on. Now, substitute A and D value. That is, A value is 5. 5 plus 5, 5 plus 2 into 5, 5 plus 3 into 5, so on. That is 5, 5 plus 5, 10, 5 to the 10, 10 plus 5 will be 15, 20, 25, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so on. Look here, question what did they ask? Find the arithmetic progression asked. When they ask arithmetic progression, you can find minimum 4 to 5 terms. Suppose, if they ask you to find all the terms. Okay, find the terms if they say, you need to find these all terms. So, first 7 terms, let us check it out whether our answer is right or wrong. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Yes, come on, 7 terms, let us add. 5 plus 10 will be 15, 15 plus 15, 30, 30 plus 20, 50, 75, 115, 140. Yes, what we got A and D is right. Some more 7 terms is 140. If we add the terms, we get 140. Then what we have done, our problem is right. Okay, if you want, you can find the remaining 7 terms also. It's very easy, no? How do we get the next term? By adding the common difference. Your D value is 5. This is 35. 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. Okay, first 7 term sum is 140. If you want, you can add these 7 terms. Its sum will be 385. Okay, so the question observe carefully. Find the arithmetic progression. So, minimum 4 5 terms you find and put so on. Okay, like this we can get the remaining terms of your arithmetic progression. Yes, is this clear? Let's have a quick recap of your problem. Given sum of first 7 terms of an AP is 140 and sum of next 7 terms is 385. Find the arithmetic progression. We know first 7 terms means S7 is equal to 140. We know the formula, right? Sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. You just equate with 140. Simplify. You are going to get a plus 3d is equal to 20. Mark it first equation. And there you will be having a break. How can I write next to 7 terms? Don't be panic. How many terms given first 7? And next 7, add up, 7 plus 7 will be 14. S14 yes, 14 is equal to, add these two also you need to add. And don't write S14 is equal to 385. You need to add these two and say S14 is equal to 525. Again, same manner, S14 is equal to, simplify the formula, equate with 525, you are going to get an equation. Then, Solve these two equations, you are going to get A and D value. After getting A and D value, substitute in general form of arithmetic progression, you are going to get the terms. Therefore, the arithmetic progression is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, so on. Okay, with this, we are going to end our session. In our next session, we are going to continue with another new problem. Until that, keep watching. Thank you all.